So, we don't use stances. We use footwork. Footwork is what we call the flexibility of the feet by using what we call angles. Okay. And second, we don't use the word flux. We don't use the word flux because when you say flux, like for example, if I strike you here and you put a flux, then you have a mental flux. You know what I mean? Because I can blow your hair. Okay. But rather, we use what we call deflection. You deflect. You, 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 you give it that the weapon comes out, away from you. So if I start to hit you, must be able to deflect, okay, by the use of the football. The same term is what we call the body mechanics. Body mechanics is even if you attack the weapon, you must be able to move out from that, because the weapon is to you. It's not just a punch, it's not a kick, but it is a blade. Is that what? So before you block, or before you attempt to block, or before you establish a deflect portion of your of the attack, you must know how to get out because your body is very important to you. You must know. Like for instance, if I crash in here, instead of you blocking it, block it, instead of you blocking it, you must get out of by step. So the better, the more the, 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 the more you get out from it the better, rather than flat. So these are the things that we can learn, okay? So that's why I said you have to learn how to relax, not to tense, because relaxation provides loosening up of your muscles. And if we don't put muscles, muscles is just being developed. See, there are two ways of, of, of building up yourself. Either you go to the body building, okay? Or you do it as you progress in your training. Depends on what kind of training you do. So what has to be developed is in the body, it's not this strong or stiff muscle. Muscle that must be rubberized. Muscle that flex at sparring moment. Not muscles that will harden you up. So the harder you put this, it affects the your brain thinking. See? That if you react according to the reflex, then you have better speed. Okay, five. <clears throat> now, as far as learning these things concerned, we have what we call the salvation process. Salvation process is done in five camps. And, uh, Salvation process, by for instance, in the count of one, in the count of one, you need to get your right knee, left foot out, and this uh, back hand of the hand must be in their forehead, okay? And this one must be uh, resting right in the left shoulder. At the count of two, you bring your left hand up in line with your left, and this baston is in line with your left toe, okay? At the count of three, you bring your feet together and put this on 45 degrees, and say the word too hot, at the count of four, this is what we call your possession and preparation, at the count of five, you slide, and then back to your possession, ready position. Okay, so this is what we call the uh, formality, because if you lose this, and you got this at weak point, then you lose your life. See my point? So this is the extension of your life. So hold this, and nobody can remove this from you, except yeah, when you say that's yours, you fly. Yeah? But the principle is you must know how to do it. Do not put it like this. You see? The grip must be continually strong. Yeah. And it develops that style of strength. Okay? What is the purpose of this? So the purpose of this is that when you rotate this, you have what they call an extension. So if you put it here, you rotate it, you lose it. See? So you must know how to rotate the pipe at this distance. What is the correct size of this? The correct size of this, those who don't know your arms, it must be according to the length of your arm. See? Why? Because you're after for balance. 
after 40, if it's too long, it's not good. If it's too short, it's not good. It has to be always according to the word of God. Because that is the exception. So you can design your own viewpoints according to the word of God. So if you have longer arms, you have a good advantage. Okay. If you have a shorter arms, then it's a But it doesn't mean that you don't know how to play the shorter ones. No. But this is for positive training. So you have what you would call as a equilibrium in terms of your flow. You know? You count your fingers, you know what I mean? So you don't need this whole thing. You need only this thing. <coughs> you don't need this. <coughs> you mean to say your uh, head is, or your callus there is as hard as this? Huh? You can't have the callus here. Uh, maybe 20 years callus. Huh? Might have had callus. But I'll remove every color from there. See what I mean? That's the monkey. So after all those years, you think it's what you are. You guys do it after the guy is going to go to the rapper. Bam! Go your part. So you think this is not uh, powerful? This is take a look. This is your attempt. This is no big deal. Do you know how much that is to do? You were sleeping in hospital for 30 years. Right, Alex? You don't need to have a start, you don't need it. You don't need a place. Because how, what strength will this bridge of the nose will take when this comes into 500 miles per second? Hmm? How, how, how much strength that your eyes will take on this when this comes into your flying like that, so project? Or probably your fingers or your elbows or your knees or your toes. That's all you need. Only this thing here, the small ones. You don't need the whole thing. You block it, forget it. See what I mean? <coughs> so, that's how the speed comes in. Alright? So we go into the footworks, we go into the body mechanics, we go into the exercise, <coughs> alright? Everything is relaxed. Your hand flat and your feet is flat. This pulls up your muscles here and pulls your muscles down. Right. What is spring? It's spring what you call circulation. You get uh, uh, your blood circulation. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, again. Yeah. That's the only one beside us, you know that? <laughs> That's the only kind of exercise. Now, with this you bring blood to your brain. Because 80% of your activities is you don't bring blood to your brain. So you must, the blood must have to circulate and therefore have a better thinking. So what you do is what you call left your heels <coughs> slowly, alternate it left and right. So this is what we call a loosening up of the muscles here. Because the muscle that is being used here, you know, you have always a problem with your legs. Everything. Because you walk back to time and you don't exercise your legs. So this is what we call the loosening up of your muscles from there to down, okay? And then you do this and relax. You feel it, you stop it, then you feel like you are completely relaxed, okay? So everything that is in your brain is relaxation. People sit down and do yoga as relaxation. No? <coughs> relaxation by gravity pull. The gravity pulls the whole body, the whole uh, uh, higher part of the body. By doing that, okay? okay. Right. As you move along here, what you have to do is bring your feet a little bit closer between your legs, okay? Stretch a little bit. Now, you keep on stretching until you uh, bring it back. If it's too tight, you have to return it back there and then come back again, okay? So you do, you walk in, out. You have to feel that stretch, okay? Then you have to stretch very far, but your heels must be flat. Then come a little bit closer. Stretch up. Okay, way down. Feet flat. Relax your body. Swing your elbow, and then stretch out, and then return. And then dive, and then look at the ceiling. That, but don't lift your heels. Okay? Now, and then, stretch it up as high as you can. Try to reach the ceiling, okay? You bring your left and right arm together, same with the right. 